Well, now we are going to summarize uh, briefly inexact differential equations and the various integrating factors that we have discussed. The standard form of the equation is mx, m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, where del m del y is not equal to del n del x. Had it been equal, then we would have had an exact differential equation, which is easy to integrate. So, one thing which I would like to mention here is that the integrating factors that we give, they are by no means unique. An integrating factor to any equation can be obtained in various ways and they need not be equal to each other. So, one particular equation we have uh, multiple integrating factors. That is why it is always better to say that we have this as an integrating factor and not this as the integrating factor. I re-emphasize that any integrating factor that we find is an integrating factor. It is not the integrating factor. So, we will go through the forms briefly one by one. First one is equation type same m d x plus n d y is equal to 0, where <coughs> m and n are homogeneous functions. of the same degree. Then the integrating factor, rather an integrating factor is I f is equal to 1 over m x plus n y. Given that m x plus n y is not equal to 0 identically. So, this is the first type. We have discussed this with problems earlier, but one good snapshot is this one. We now move to the second type. equation remains m d x plus n d y is 0. Obviously, del n del y is not equal to del n del x, but, but it is found that del m del y minus del n del x upon division by n x y is a function of x alone. Function of only x. Then an E f, sorry I f is e to the power of integral f x d x. So, the equation remains what it was. That criterion is the criterion for equation being inexact, but we observe in any particular way that the structure of m and n are such that this difference divided by n works out to be a function of x only. Then the integrating factor is e to the power of integral f x d x. The third form is very similar, so we just replace this to third form.
and we find that del m del y minus del n del x over n over m first it was n now it is m is g to the power of y rather g y not g to the power of y it is g y that means a function of y alone then an i f is e to the power of integral minus g y dy. Some authors write this as del n del x minus del n del y is g y, then this minus sign is not needed. But we have kept the numerator same for form second and form third. And therefore, we have to keep this in mind that the i f and i f is equal to e to the power of integral minus g y. Whichever way it is written, the integrating factor can be found out. Fourth form is when the equation can be cast into the form y f x y d x plus x g x y d y is 0. That means, our aim is y times f x y and n is x times g x y. So, these are functions of x y, both of them. Then, the not the, the 1 e f and i f is equal to 1 over m x minus n y, assuming that m x minus n y is not equal to 0. This is the fourth form and the final form, it is a little tricky to look at, but not really tricky if we see the form. So, that is the fifth form. If the equation can be cast as x to the power of a, y to the power of b, m y dx plus n x dy plus x to the power of a prime, y to the power of b prime, m dash y dx plus n dash x dy is 0. Then, an i f is of the form x to the power of h, y to the power of k, where h and k emerge from emerge from these equations
a plus h plus 1 by m is equal to b plus k plus 1 over n and a prime plus h plus 1 over m prime is equal to b prime plus k plus 1 over n prime. So, this is one equation and this is another equation. They are sufficient to eject the values of k and h. So, an integrating factor is whatever h and k emerge from these equations, the integrating factor can be written as x to the power of h by to the power of k.